Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil, Evil Viking 13 here, and welcome back to part 4 of my Let's Build project here at Sanctuary Hills. Which, as you can see, I am turning into a version of my Fortress Sanctuary build from 2015 that sees the Minutemen a few years down the timeline. And we're looking at, as we build here, what this settlement might look like after years of development. Now, of course, a disclaimer as usual that everything that you see here is a work in progress. Nothing is set in stone, although this entranceway is kind of stone now. Terrible pun there. But this Let's Build series is a way for me to prototype ideas and get feedback from you guys. And a lot of you guys had feedback on the last episode. There were over 600 comments. It was nuts. And let me go ahead and tally up a few things that you guys decided. Almost unanimously, you decided that we do want to do the neighborhood store, as seen here, that the Minutemen have rebuilt into a recruitment center and military headquarters for Sanctuary Hills. You guys are kind of split down the middle, though, over here on the main tree at Sanctuary, going back and forth between turning it into a living tree or replacing it with a statue. And you guys also had quite a few thoughts on the grand structure that I built back here in the corner. But before we get into all of that, let me go ahead and sleep. Might as well go back to my old house to do so. Let's get some daylight and I'll show you guys what I've been up to. Of course, we also had that decision of which walls should I use for the border of sanctuary. And I'm trying something new here in this episode as well. All right, time of day looks good. Let's go ahead and um, pause time, basically. Set time scale to zero. Just so while I'm building here with you guys, I'm locked in in daylight. I, knew you would help us. I think the passing of time has been doing good things for my frame rate, though, because it's been a lot more stable the last few times that I've come by to work on the build. So. While I had not made a final decision on the tree here, the way that I'm leaning is replacing it with a living tree. A symbol, not how we've grown a tree, but how we've used our technology stolen from the Institute to bring this one back to life. I think that would be pretty unique. And we do have quite a lot of area right here around it where we could make a pretty awesome plaza and statue as well. Now, a lot of you guys had comments on this particular structure, which I hadn't decided last episode what it was going to be yet. You guys commented that it almost felt too old world, like it had to have been here before the war. Now, in my build here in Sanctuary Hills, three years into my timeline or so, I want this to have been actually built by the Minutemen. So to emphasize that, yes, we are actually mining stone and building structures like this, although not many of them, I've been playing around with the idea of having some parts of it be unfinished. Like here you see some cinder block with some wood supports and some wood walls and lots of scaffolding and construction supplies just so that it doesn't look like it's quite finished yet. To give it the impression of, yes, we've reached a point where we can actually build some things like this, but it's still a huge effort to do so. We've got some more scaffolding going on back here which also leads to some rooftop access. Also toying with a few props like these crates on pallets. Going to have some construction uh, tools, possibly a small crane of some kind, and things like right here, having the pillar on the shipping pallets. I think this gives the building a lot of character and gives us a pretty workable excuse for why it looks so professionally done, even here in my Minuteman Empire that I've created. I think this would have been doable in my timeline. Going inside, I like the suggestion of sealing in the first floor of the back balcony. I also like the suggestion of this being the headquarters of a small Minutemen provisional government because my version of the Minutemen have been getting a bit authoritarian in the last few full settlement tours. And I think Sanctuary is going to be a fun way to step back from that just a bit. What if General Dave wasn't just 
a permanent military government, but he was actually trying, keyword trying, to reestablish some form of civil government. So, I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone with this structure. I just realized my stairs right here have a giant gap in them. That is not safety first. I'm going to make this the Minutemen White House slash Capitol building. It's going to serve two functions. The first floor is going to be the meeting area for the Minutemen provisional government voted on by the settlers at the Minutemen settlements. I think I have just enough room here on the first floor to have some important meeting rooms and filing areas, entranceways, secretary, stuff like that. This would be the main meeting chamber. And then upstairs, once again, because you can't quite escape General Dave, the second floor I'm looking at creating as my personal lodging here in Sanctuary. Even though we have the first step towards a civil government, there is still martial law at this time. So, it would definitely make sense that I would take the top floor as my personal residence as the kind of the military president of the Minutemen. Even if we do have a council of representatives that meet downstairs. Okay, we'll come back to the White House though. The Minutemen White House. Call it the Tan House maybe? I don't know. Still working on the name. Down here at the front gates though, where I have rebuilt them using stone instead of all barn pieces, I'm playing around with this new wall style right here. It's a foundation wall made of what looks to me like river stones. And I haven't removed the scrappy bits from the outside just yet, still toying with that idea as well. But I think these looser stone walls actually make a pretty convincing wall for sanctuary. It's not too junky because I think even my walls that I'm creating for my mod are a little bit too junky for the front gate of sanctuary. But they're also not as clean and pristine as those covenant walls. This I think is a nice middle ground for the front area of sanctuary and as you can see I've added some nice new fencing to the top. I imagine that the Minutemen would have raided someone's supply warehouse to get those show you guys what this looks like from the outside. Again, still prototyping, but I really like how the stone and fencing works together. And with just a couple of pieces of extra armor and scrap like that, not too many, I think it looks pretty good. And of course, this texture for the sign is still a work in progress as well. I just really like the shape. I imagine this might actually be a wood-burned texture for the final one. But I still like those barn doors, nice and big, being our front gate doors. Then some spotlights as you go in. And I'll show you guys a bit more over here of what this stone wall might look like. There's the old covenant walls that I was experimenting with. And here is the chain link fence and the stone foundation walls. I just think that makes a pretty awesome combo. Let me know what you guys think, because that's where I'm definitely leaning for the front part of the walls. But as for the more, I guess, is it northwest side of the settlement? The back side, basically, away from the river, I am still planning on using my walls. And on that front, I have some good news. I have made a ton of progress this week on my custom walls. There are still a few things I want to make for it, including a doorway and a couple of uh, four length long sections. But as you guys can see, I actually have quite a few of them in game right now. Let's go right here and I'll show you guys what I have in game right now. This is wall section A, which snaps either direction, as you can see. This center block and wood base is meant to go inside though so keep that in mind random pipe pistol all right this is wall section b notice the flipped texture and different center block locations to avoid repetition although i'm seeing that block right there did not get moved tisk tisk and then i have this section right here which is actually completely made up of corrugated metal that looks like that 
So those are my three individual sections right there, A, B, C. I think there will be five in total of the small sections. And here is the first end cap you can place right there. And I'm going to have a corner piece that will let you, well, turn the corner as well. But yeah, I think my main tasks that are left are to get those larger four section uh, pieces complete. One of which, and I'll have an overlay right here, one of the longer wall sections will be made up of almost entirely corrugated metal, but will still snap neatly into my wall sections. And it's going to look almost exactly like this wall from The Walking Dead. And that should be a great wall for filling in long sections of your settlement without getting too many repeating textures and the like. Yeah guys, honestly, working with Bethesda's tools can be frustrating. I am not a big fan of the NIF format and how much hand-holding it needs to get objects into the game. But I have made progress through blood, sweat, and tears, and I think we're actually on the home stretch here to getting this mod out to you guys. All that being said, I think I will be using these walls for the back side of the settlement. So the idea is these nicer kind of river stone retaining walls for up front with a chain link fence. And once you get away from the front entrance, it'll be my walls on around for the rest. Okay. Now, on to what we're going to work on for today. We have this partially destroyed store right here. And I'm going to work on the military headquarters for the Minutemen today, along with you guys. And I'll wait for some feedback on my use of the walls and that stone front gate. Again, there is an excuse for why the Minutemen do have more of those uh, nicer stones that are being mined, but you guys won't get to see that secret for probably a few more settlements. But let me know what you guys think of my use of those retaining walls and chain link fences. Now, I do like this structure that came with Homemaker, but I'm a bit worried that the fact that it has no uh, nav meshing, so NPCs cannot walk through this, is going to come back to bite me. It's pretty huge, too. Well, I do like that destroyed section. One thing I could do is, if this floor that comes with snappy build is nav meshed. I could clip it ever so slightly into the floor here. I'm gonna shift them over just a bit though. So they're not sticking out the side. really hope these are nav meshed because I'm honestly not sure. I do think I like this floor better anyway though. Okay. That'll at least get the AI to use the first floor. Again, if it actually works. Oh, what is that hole in the wall right there? Anything else like that? That's a pretty great view right there. Down onto Main Street. Oh, and while I'm staring at what used to be the school here, don't worry guys, we have moved the school elsewhere. This will most likely be a welcome center of some kind here. Okay. Let's see. I got balconies, trim, floors, walls internal. Here's the corner cap that I think is missing from back here. Now it won't snap to it, unfortunately. Eh, I'll use a different piece to fill that in, actually. Let's do miscellaneous. I'll use this giant post right here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff right there that needs to be covered up. What on earth? Okay, I'll fix that later. Let's just focus on the build. To get a slightly rebuilt look, because perhaps the Minutemen haven't gotten around to laying nice brickwork back for this structure, perhaps they're very busy working on the White House, we're going to fill this in with bits of scrappy plywood. I have a lot of junk. 
in my wood category. I'll start with floors, actually. Let's do plywood. And I'm going to put this one at a angle like this. Just need a couple of small pieces to even things out. Oh yeah, I have tons of stuff that I put back into the workshop that I should probably use at some point to build with because I feel like having it in the workshop's inventory, like those 14 floor pieces, that's probably part of what's hurting my FPS. So the second floor that I'm rebuilding right here, I'm imagining as an officer's quarters perhaps, if recruitment is on the first floor. Um. Officers' quarters and barracks, because there would be a garrison here, most certainly. You guys also might be thinking, going back to the White House, or Tan House, or whatever I'm going to call it, what prevents a rocket attack or a sniper attack? Well, I'm going to have snipers in guard towers and on the rooftops, kind of like the real-life Secret Service, that will take out anybody with a weapon within sight lines of sanctuary that look like they're going to aim it. A tough policy, but at this point, if sanctuary is this established, people in the area most definitely <laughs> know better. Okay, that's looking good. Need some smaller sections here. Actually, right here would be a good place for one of these nicer window sections. Make it look like we are making some progress. That rooftop has seen better days for sure. In fact, I have to figure out how I'm going to make this work with the lower size of the snappable bits and then the higher rooftop from the original building. It's going to have to be a transition for sure. There's one nice wood section right there. Well, let's go back to the kit under snappy builds and see what are the rooftops that come with this one. Just this one, basically. So what I might do to cover up the holes here, do a couple of these and then some rebuilt rooftops. Snapping on. I don't want them to look too scrappy, like the shack walls and whatnot, but I think we can find a good middle ground. Let's see. There's the shack ones that I don't want to use. We do have these flat shack ones though, as well as a skylight. That could be interesting. Oh, that's a big piece. What if I did them like this? Is that too much of a... Yeah, that's kind of far down. I 
like how that lines up though. This kind of rooftop would be asking for leaks if you didn't test it ahead of time. Let's just assume though that the Minutemen have done their due diligence. Only question is, how does that look from the outside? Actually, not as bad as I thought it was going to. Not nearly as bad at all. Of course, that's going to leave me with a gap that I'll have to fill in right here. I almost wonder, could I use some of the brick sets pieces to fill that gap? So we had that nice decorative piece along the top of the old building. Hmm. Shell trims, yeah. Which one looks the junkiest? It's got a pretty junky texture to it. Again, still prototyping. I might come back and change this later. Oop. That scale did something weird. Yeah, I'm not sure about that because we do have a lot of conflicting angles going on now. We're making good progress for our recruitment center. Let's look at sidewalks next. You know, I'm not entirely sure where those sidewalks went to. Well then, instead of the sidewalk that I was thinking of, let's use perhaps concrete or perhaps a nice stone walk. Is this uh, some kind of strange brick? Brick tan, brick tunnel. castle it's just like giant minecraft cubes foundation stone yeah I don't want to use those metal pieces so instead let's actually do foundation marble light If I use one of those large ones with the stones, the Shack Foundation Castle, I shrink it down to half its size. The bricks might look, yep, normal sized. Now, unfortunately, that means that snapping is not going to work because I've changed the object size. This could work, though. That's a start. I might come back and fix that up as well. This one's just kind of sunk into the mud. That also might be on my fixed list. 
also wonder if all this glass is affecting my frame rate. It does seem to be a pattern. Yeah, this is kind of what I was imagining for the reconstructed old town store that's now the Minutemen's military outpost. You know, I think this would also be the sheriff. So perhaps we could have a holding cell back here. This could be the sheriff's office. If I can figure out how to split the room in half efficiently. Sheriff's office and military recruitment center. I think that works well together. Yeah. Snappy build, where'd you go? Let's divide this room in half. Shell kit. Take a look at all of our interior walls here. Ooh, secret door. Oh, ho, ho. That's cool. So yeah guys, the question is going to be how I want to set up the recruitment center. I think what I'll do is I'll divide this uh, countertop off for the sheriff's office. What am I doing here guys? Okay, so we're going to leave a walkway to get back behind the counter. <laughs> oh man. And let's use that uh, internal half wall kit. Use that one right there. Screw to the right some. Turn off snapping for a minute. Put this one in here like this. I've always wanted a civilian style sheriff for my settlements, but they've always been so militarized that I haven't had the opportunity to have a real civilian sheriff. So this is kind of exciting, guys. Let's also make sure that I'm not clipping upstairs. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. Now if we snap stuff to that, there we go. That one goes there. I'm trying to give the military recruitment center a good chunk of the space down here. So the sheriff's going to be tucked away kind of in the back corner. And I'll think about a possible uh, shared doorway there. Oh wait, can't do that because that doorway is sunk into the floor. Just a full wall then. And then a half wall to finish things out. And we're at the front door. Almost. Snap. What are you doing? Oh, we're at that awkward point of the floor. That's right. Okay, cool. So this is where our recruiter's desk is going to go. We're going to have a waiting area and some displays in the window. And then this will be our sheriff over here. With the barracks on the second floor. Yeah. 
I like that layout. Let's go ahead and save before I lose this to a crash. Although props to Fallout, it's been a long time since I crashed. At least while building. Okay. So there's our countertop. Or the sheriff. Again, I'm going to have to seal up that hole in the wall right there. But what I can go ahead and do... Let's go over to Homemaker. And this is just going to be... The holding cell. This is not where prisoners are kept long term. But we do need something... Small. Just for a single prisoner. Or two. And that I believe is going to have a matching door under Homemaker and Structures Doors. One of these swings open and one of them slides open. Not sure which one this is. Let's see. Uh, it clips into the wall, but let's just say that we have a cutout there. I think I can get away with that. I mean, we're not going to be going around back really at all anyway. Back into workshop mode, time for more lag. Let's line that wall piece up right there. So inside of our holding cell, let's go over to G2M workshop, and then furniture. There's our prisoner's cots. Yeah, I guess this actually just has the... Uh, room for the one prisoner. That's okay though. We'll do a toilet. But first, let's get a privacy wall. Just for if people are here to see the sheriff, they don't want to see the person in the holding cell doing their business. Aha! G2M furniture. Got a nice wooden divider. We'll put that out here. Which will leave room for our toilet for the prisoner. I'll just place the one from the <laughs> bathroom mod, basically. Love this old school, like Cold War style toilet. <laughs> Looks like something a military barracks would use back in the day. So we'll use that for our jail cell. The privacy fence just a bit. Yeah, no light for him in there. And what I'm doing for my lights, by the way, guys, I don't know if you noticed. Ooh, FPS is starting to get a hit. I've been building for a while. My power is separated into two different lines. One line is street lights, which are actually switched off at all times, essentially. They're on this switch right here. Then I have power lines that go throughout the entire settlement on, well, these electric poles. Surprise, surprise. On the left side of the street. And then for each house, I'm going to have a single strong wireless modded conduit with a switch on the outside wall, not for security purposes, but just for frame rate purposes. I want to be able to switch off each house as I visit it for the final tour, because this settlement I just have such grand plans for. Placing lights is just going to wreck things. So I'm going to have to leave them turned off when we make our actual tour, and then I'll just turn on the lights for each uh, house just to deal with the frame rate as we get to them. 
let's look at some other furniture. Do a coffee table for the sheriff's office. And a end table as well for here. Ooh, FPS is really bad in that direction. These FPS drops really only come along when I build for a long time too, so I think a big part of it is just going through all of these menus and loading all this stuff into memory. Can have some just generic waiting chairs. For people. And then we'll have some nicer ones over here as well. Okay, maybe not that nice. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll do these. Don't want that chair in the bush there. There's our larger waiting area. I think I'll put a bench down as well, right here. And what is a police station without some decorations like some nice paintings? Now in here, we're not going to have a whole lot of flags and whatnot. Perhaps a single American flag. On a flagpole. Shrink it down just slightly. But no crazy, you know, Minuteman flags like this on the walls. I think a slight Minuteman flag. Wow, I have none of these in the workshop. Uh, on the back wall would be appropriate. Or perhaps even, uh, perhaps here. because I want to put some lockers on this back wall for the sheriff to use. But we're just going to have some nice paintings. Not Minutemen paintings, specifically. Just some very pleasant paintings. That one's huge. Man. Is that a painting of the newt going off in Sanctuary? That's awfully dark. this small one right here. Definitely not going to go through my science category with all this FPS lag. It'd be miserable for you guys and me. Instead let's go to storage containers. And where are my lockers? Or are they all under Homemaker? They must be. Well, while I'm in chairs, let's give the sheriff a rolly chair. Or two. And let's say... Let's just go on to Homemaker. Furniture, containers, supplies. Aha, there's our lockers right there. Let's go for the big one. For all the police gear and equipment. Well, 
What else would go in here? Probably a nice rug for the central part of the room. And some decorative plants and stuff, but I'm not sure how much of that we'll actually get to today. Especially with the FPS ever so surely eroding. Floor coverings. Some nice modern green. Awesome. Yeah. I think one more painting would be appropriate. What's under miscellaneous? Oh yeah, Nuka World Clock. You know, of all the places that might have modern art, a sheriff's office kind of fits. Maybe. That made sense in my head, guys, I swear. Maybe kind of along the lines of, uh, you know, a hospital has modern art, a police station might too, but what is sheriff's office? I don't know. I'll shrink that one down, see what you guys think. Now we have a home. It just needs a few more decorations for our civilian police force. Before we say goodbye to the sheriff's office though for today, again, there's always a micro detailing stage that has to happen. Let's look and see under Gruffy's sign mod. What we have for possible sheriff office signs. I believe he's got quite a few actually. Ooh, map of the Commonwealth, nice. Uh, labels and directions. Sort of like road sign style. Health, safety, law, clinic. Food and drink. Businesses. Preston's gift shop. Entertainment. Yeah, I know he's got a number of signs, but I think my categories might be a bit messed up. So I'll fix those and we'll hang some sheriff signs out front. At a later date. I'm thinking a nice sheriff's office sign that just goes right over the door should do the trick. We'll come back to that. Let's put a few mannequins in the window, which will be our Minutemen inspirations. And I think we'll get a good sized Minutemen advertisement outside. Those mannequins will of course be wearing Minutemen armor. You gotta have a display case for some Minutemen artifacts inside to get you inspired to join the cause. Then our recruiter will have their desk over here. Let's see, let's look at what signs we have here. Flags is what we want to get to. Mm, 
Minuteman flag over here. Ooh, I know what I have to use. From Homemaker, these patriotic posters right here. I'll have to adjust the size a bit. That'll do for now, though. It's actually hard to select with this frame rate. The invisible through the window. <laughs> the power armor one, I think. Hmm, that waves quite a bit. Can I have a display case that's kind of out from the wall? Would that work? I think so. After all, we're trying to make a statement here. And that statement is, join now. Because the Minutemen are, as you can see here at Sanctuary, rebuilding America. Oh, come on, get up there. I'll resize that one quite a bit. That's going to be a big banner. Get that other display case back in here. And I think I'm going to have to go into my signs category to get the Minutemen recruitment sign that I want to get, guys. I've got one of my signs from my Minutemen morale mod that says, uh, Join the Minutemen. We're rebuilding the American way of life, I believe. And that. I'm going to resize and put a big one right here. And I think as far as decorations go, speaking of my mod, I'm going to go to furniture and put a table down that will be used for displaying a decorative cannon. A more narrow table. There we go. Perfect. Our armor rack right here. The FPS is starting to skip to the point where it's not registering clicks I'm making. <laughs> oh man, guys. I think we'll have to get to a stopping point here soon. So, Minuteman armor, there in the window. Banner number one, display cases of artifacts. Banner number two, recruitment desk large sign here on the brick where I'm pointing. We're rebuilding. Oh, I just saw a memory flicker on my graphics card. I'm going to quick save. Um, large sign here on the outside that says we are rebuilding the American way of life. Join now. Well, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of me complaining about the frame rate. So let's go ahead and wind things down for today. Even though I haven't detailed the upstairs just yet, I can work on that a bit on my own. Let's go back to Homemaker Furniture. Services. Miscellaneous. I know that Homemaker has some cool desks that 
I think we work well. Might be under storage, containers, office. Awesome. This is the modern desk I was looking for. Recruiter's desk. Let's give him a rolly chair as well. Give him that hardback style one if I can find one that's not a barber chair. Got a couple different versions of the barber chair. Uh, the surgery chair. Don't really want that either. Of course I'm going to go back through all these categories to find just the chair I'm looking for. <laughs> this one's just right. Aha! The wooden military style office chair. Love it. We also of course need some paintings. Very patriotic of course. That one's having a hard time getting past the chair. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll have a smaller one of Washington on this wall. Thanks to the power of place everywhere. Going back to Homemaker briefly. Oh, that chair's floating. There's a really cool old style uh, filing cabinet I think would work really, really well. Tainer's office. Oh, odd, it's not there. Is it an official piece of furniture, actually? I reorganized my categories again recently, and I feel like. Might I miss some? Oh, it's official. No, it's modded. It's just under this category still. Whatever. Put that in the corner. Shrink the painting down just a bit so it fits. And then a smaller filing cabinet next to it. Makes you wonder if your family has been waiting for years, perhaps, or months to get into the sanctuary, that is Sanctuary Hills. You finally get here, what are they trying to do to you? Recruit you to join the militia. Go figure. Even my happiest civilian settlement has to have some militaristic aspects, but we're going to stop here for today, guys. I'm getting a bit worried about a possible crash so let me know in the comments what you guys think of our rebuilt more impressive gate and what you think of the use of those stone walls with the chain link on top and I think we just hit single digit frame rates that's gonna be it thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time